Hello, today I would like to show you my new radio from the Hytera, but first I would like to share with you information that I've got from my fellow YouTuber friend, and he's called a Digital Radio Hacker. I'm going to link his comment in the description, because he shared quite important information against a copyright issue that got Motorola against the Hytera and that copyright issue might affect your future firmware update onto, onto radio like this. So please check the, the comment if you are interested in buying one of this. And let's take a look what we actually got because recently I was showing you a DPMR radio DPMR446 and this is a DMR tier 1 radio made by Hartera and the model number is a PD505LF LF stand for license free and this is a PMR446 radio that could be used I believe in almost all countries in the Europe without any licensing. It has uh, all the legal things that you are required to have, like fixed gain non-removable antenna and 500 milliwatt of output power, 0 0.5 watt. And as I told you on the beginning, the main difference is that this is a DPMR radio and this is a 6.25 kilohertz channel this is the the channel bandwidth that this radio is using but this radio is TDMA based it using 12.5 kilohertz but using two time slots and this give you a couple of advantages the most important is that it's using less power because it's monitoring only a half of the half of the time. Of course, it doesn't give you a 50% more battery life, but like they claim about 40%. You you can turn off the receiver for half of the time slot, which is quite interesting. And what I believe, I, I cannot run the test right now, but that should be compatible with uh, other TDMR radios. I have to check what kind of codec this radio is using, but there is a change there are going to be compatible with other radios that have a tier 2, for example. But yes let's let's take a look at this radio it's really small very very nice feel in the hand as i told you the antenna is non-removable a little bit longer than the dpmr xt665 we've got our channel selector Two, three as you can hear we've got a voice announcement on the selected channel we've got our led indicator i saw that we have ability to program our our button just like on the motorola by using the customer programming software but i didn't touch that yet because i'm waiting for the cable we've got a nice ptt we've got a volume selector and we've got a side connector hidden under that flap which to be honest it's looking better than on Motorola because if you take a look I believe inside there is like a metal bar and that's acting like a hinge when I've got a similar radio from the XT series and after one day of 
carrying with attached a, a shoulder mic, that part get torn. After one day of use, one day of use, it was rubbing on my jacket, so I don't know how Motorola could could make something like this that it's just on this tiny piece of of rubber. I don't like that idea. This one looks much more professional and yes I, I like it, I like it very much and they have uh, also another good thing they've got a screw for fixing your your headset or a, a speaker microphone the pin spacing is exactly the same like on the Motorola so if you've got yourself a already a Motorola speaker mic there is nothing wrong with plugging them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. radio check, check, radio radio check. check. and of course the, the other way around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. radio check, radio check. Testing, 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 testing so as you can see it's working perfect if you have a fleet of your accessories you can reuse them, but I more like the the one on the on the Hytera, so I would recommend you getting a, a genuine one because they've got a screw and it's fixing more permanently. So this is a really thumbs up for Hytera because they've got they they managed to to change this side connector. Which have multi-purpose on the on the Motorola radio to the standard side connector, so you can plug without that screw any device, or you can buy the dedicated one. So this is a good option. You can reuse the Motorola, and you can buy the genuine one. So very good move. You don't need to to buy, but you can. And we've got our belt clip and basically that's all from the visual aspect they are working really nice One, two, three, four, five. Radio, radio check. check loud and clear as you can see there as you can hear there is a delay that's because they are digital radios and the voice have to be compressed and then sent and yes, that's how it looks like. I'm absolutely impressed with the range of these radios. I was comparing them against other TDMA UHF radios, which are this Motorola DP3600. They are the, the main radios that I very enjoy. And you might ask why I didn't upgrade them for a newer Motorola model and the only reason is because they've got like they are I believe they are the less radios that they are using a standard SMA connector so you've got no problem connecting a rooftop antenna or other something device then you can deploy in the field and on the newer one they use they they own connector and you are a little bit of stuck you are stuck with the stock antenna if you don't like them then it's your problem but anyway i'm 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 telling you definitely that the stock motorola antennas are are really really the best on the on the uhf and i as you can see i replace them because i'm using them in a different application because they are that great but this radio i was not not doing a technically a range check because it's quite hard to to make a good range check inside of the of the city in the urban area and that's because we are most likely to to get a signal bouncing from a different different buildings and there is often a situation when you can go 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 and you go to the another street and 
your blackout it's not working completely but if you go more far away then it starts to magically working so this is not a you know not a very good test to make a, a rain check if we go into outer space and we've got our ideal isotropic antenna with a spherical spherical radiating pattern then we can go to the edge of the sphere we go a couple meter out and we've got a blackout and we can say that this is the range of this unit but inside of the city as i told you is quite hard but i'm absolutely impressed i i'm really impressed i would say they are acting almost as good as this 4 watt motorola radios they have got on the on the uhf i put one on the near window i put one of these and 1.5 kilometers that was my my rain check and i've got i hear everything the moments i would say that motorola was dropping out and the high terra with a lower power lower power stock antenna was giving me a better constant audio just like on the phone i have to do a compare because it sounds like the Hytera have a better audio codec i'm not sure if that's it if that's the case but Hytera sounds nicer to me that's what i've got feeling this is a early early model so maybe that's possible i'm not sure if this is the mb plus i have to i have to check to the and dig more deeply when I'm going to get a program cable but first impression is that this is absolutely amazing radios 1.5 kilometer constant range either under uh, a bridge first floor near the window communication went smoothly and I was walking I was recording myself on the on the phone when I go back I, I replay that and definitely definitely a very good range you they are digital so there is no static and yes I, I I'm totally totally familiar to that experience with, with the Motorola but I was blown away that radio that you can own without any licensing you can just walk into the shop buy and you can legally use them that was a uh, really really blown them uh, blown me away so yes definitely going for the digital tdma radio is a, a good thing i believe that this is something that you should have in your in your shack and i'm going to make an update when i get a program cable because i'm going to check the interoperability with the with the Motorola one so I'm quite interesting can they check can they talk together I'm going to hook up the dummy load and we are going to to try that out but for now that's that's all I'm very impressed with them so thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye